Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new Safe Hour. Jumping back in again with another deleted run. You guys have been thoroughly enjoying these recently and the last one was kind of amazing. I'm pretty sure we got a no hit run which is something that I don't see very often. But this time we're going a spyware. Deleted is stuck in corrupted form. Use cleanse to reverse corruption. Great. Extend light prescriptions already with a break. Great. Uh, but yeah, everything is going to be corrupted. I like the idea behind that. Um, and then we can just cleanse things on occasion. Um, I don't really know how often we'll want to use cleanse. Um, I'm pretty much down for any sort of corrupted items as long as it doesn't basically instantly kill me. Um, I am willing to have a bad run as this guy for the memes. So we'll just kind of take whatever as long as it's not going to be drastically terrible. Ooh, we do love an early golden penny. Um, summon four fish um, spawners. Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. I like the fact that on going to the next floor we get card reader because it's only ever um, our tower, what, what, whatever that one's called, the tower of cloth thing. Because um, it's only ever um, useful at the start of the floor anyway, so if we lose it after the start of the floor then who cares. So it kind of works out quite well for us. We'll be able to uh, skip to the boss room or item room or secret room. Pretty much every floor. Um, well, I'd say pretty much, literally every floor. Okay, let's be a little careful about this guy. That didn't hurt me for some reason, but it definitely knocked me back. I'm unsure exactly what happened there. Oh, but yes. We're jumping again. I've just made myself a massive batch of chicken and bacon cream cheese pasta. It was very good. I didn't eat it all. I just made myself like three or four days worth of it and had a had a portion. Um, and it was rather tasty. I do I do kind of kind of like sort of meal prepping for lunch. I don't do it often enough, but it's 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 very useful. It's very useful. It's just Lowers waste significantly. I find that, um, so me and my girlfriend tend to, like, do, like, one big shop, but don't really get everything we need, and then do, like, smaller shops throughout the week, where we just pop to shop and we need stuff. But that leads to a lot of waste. I wouldn't say we waste a ton, but we definitely some sometimes throw out, like, chicken that we don't end up getting to eat and stuff like that. Um, seems pretty interesting. I'll take it. Uh, down to the next floor. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like I, um... I kind of hope that I can reduce my waste a little bit off of the back of doing that a little bit more. Right, what we got going on in here? Um, that seems fine to me. I'm intrigued by this. I'm intrigued by it indeed. Hey, this is the one that turns enemies into their lesser form. We like that. We like that. Also, decent space bar item. Not a bad space bar item. It's not the best in the world, but not bad. Not bad. Also, a little, little sister Maggie there. You can chill with us. You can hang with us. we got good damage right now as well, which I'm very pleased about. This should be a pretty decent run. What do you guys devolve into? I'm hoping regular spiders. Yeah, there you go. I like the fact that sometimes you can devolve an enemy into nothing. <laughs> there is no lower form, so it just kills it. I like that quite a lot. But yeah, if, if there was... This, this is the question of the day. If there was one meal you had to eat forever, what would it be? And you can't just say pizza because there's a million types of pizza. If you're going to pick something that has a lot of variations, you have to pick one of the variations. Like, what's the one thing? I think I, I, think I have asked this before a, a really long time ago. For me, I think it'd maybe be lasagna. I really like lasagna. Ooh, that's some, some good items there. I'm not entirely sure, but that, that definitely seems like one that's high up on my list. A little bit of extra money there, lovely. Because we've got a slick spade right now. Oh, whoa. That's uh, an interesting little book there. I don't know if I've seen that before. So it seems to be a sacred dreams item, I think. There's a theme going off, baby. Love it. We'll go straight for the boss, considering we've got these devil items for a hot minute. Well, I say a hot minute. We'll probably have it for another 20 seconds. We also have a 9% chance each room to use the Delirium um, spacebar item. So, on occasion, we will get that guy popping up and helping us out. Although, it's not going to be a super high chance. I doubt it'll actually proc in rooms that it's super necessary most of the time. Got a bit of bleed on you. Nice. Hey. Oh, I managed to get hit there. Oh, no. No, I didn't. I don't know what happened there. Um... On hit, get... That seems decent. 
I'll take that. I'll take that. Right, uh, I think we're just good to go here. Thus far, we are we are not cleansing anything. As I said, I'm just sticking with it. Unfortunately, card reader doesn't work the way I was hoping it would, which is a bit of a shame. It is a bit of a shame. But I'm liking the, the full-on corruption. Okay, please devolve this guy into something that's easier to kill. Yeah. By something that's easier to kill, I mean literally devolve him into nothing. That's great. That's that's perfectly up to my standards. But as I was talking about, I think in the last episode, uh, I'm going up to the cabin um, with a bunch of friends this weekend, which means Isaac prepping is to be done. We get nothing on both of those. Um, yeah. We'll take it. <laughs> I just said spudier egg. Oh, damn. We got loads of these superiorities, um, which... I'm not entirely sure how they'll work, but it might be really good. It's meant to be the more enemies in a room. Oh, no, no. Isn't superiority extra damage versus bosses? Okay, this might be very, very good. If they all actually stack, we are going to do insane damage to bosses. Like, absolutely insane. Some cards. I'll pop the moon one first. Thank you, and I'll go and pop the stars card next. Actually, no, we've been to the item room. I'll just hold on to the stars card, why don't I? Yeah, there you go. We'll hold on to that for a little bit later. I'm quite happy with, uh, with the run as it is right now. Ooh, good. I'll take this. Little bit poor decision making there on my behalf in there uh, when I ran against that. Little bit silly. But we can use this spirit if there's a room with a ton of things in it to get a lot of HP. It's a little hard to uh, pick which room to use it on. Oh, there's our 28th kill death head. Forgot that we had that. They're really not that bad, to be honest. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. Oh, we got hit and lost all of our superiorities. Or whatever they're called. Go and do a few more rooms first and try and, uh, try and build up a few more of those. Those guys devolved to different enemies there. That's kind of weird. What we got going on in here? Um, U7 rune shards. Remove. Okay. Delete that. Cool. Okay, don't mind that. Don't mind that. Right. Boss time. Hopefully we just do insane damage. Oh, we actually did get... Oh, I got hit. Wait, I die? I don't know what happened there. Um, okay. I think I've learned what happened there. On boss kill, we have an item that increases our stats, but gives us a broken heart. So on that particular boss, it just killed us. <laughs> Oops, I guess. Do you know what? I've not actually decided, I've not actually been utilizing this item. We could, um, we could go for it. How does, how does having a ton of these work? Yeah, why not? Why not? We did say until hit though, yeah. So that's pretty useless, right? Let's try and get a good item off the rip here, why not? I've, I've never really used the crown before, but I should use it. It's not even the right item. Come on, give us something good. That just gives us an item, but it's not a good one. Every 12 rooms... Oh yeah, that seems pretty good. Fortunately, I've stepped into this guy's web. Do you know what? No, this isn't good enough. <laughs> Doing a lot of restarting here, but... Spawn 11 bombs. There you go. That's that's a half-decent start. It's nothing too cheesy. It allows us to have some bombs off the rip. I like it. But yeah, a little bit sad to let that run go, but... Um, didn't expect to be gaining a boss item that would... Uh, well, an item that on boss kill that would essentially end our run. I don't know how I didn't notice last time that I'd gained Broken Hearts. Maybe I didn't gain them last time. I don't know, maybe it's something new I'd gotten. But I swear on the last boss that didn't happen. But I mean, the stats were good though. The stats were good. Doesn't really do uh, do as much favours though, does it? When uh, you get a bunch of stats but you're dead. <laughs> it's not, not the ideal scenario, I wouldn't say. Oh, unfortunately got one of these guys to fight. I don't mind these enemies when they're in rooms on their own. 
But there's a bunch of other enemies that makes these guys an absolute pain. Because as you can see, they, uh, they do quite like to run. Okay, ticks are down. Good, good. Um, yeah, okay. Don't know what any of those do. I think the nickel one, it makes it so that all shopkeepers have nickels in their eyes, I think. I'm not entirely sure on that. We do have the, the piercing trinket. Unfortunately, doesn't look like it stacks. I was hoping the 1 in 10 chance to fire a piercing shot would be up to like 1 in 5. But it doesn't seem that that's the case. Or maybe that trinket just increased our chances for nickels, actually, because there's a nickel right there. Could just be a coincidence. But we'll see. Unfortunately, no item room as of yet. We do have two this floor. This is an XL floor. We've, we've lost our fruit. I was I was ready and gearing up to use our fruit on that last uh, that last run. Because that would have given us tons of extra HP. But sadly, I cannot get so lucky. But yeah, other, other item room to come still. This first item room hasn't really done too much for us, I wouldn't say. Second one could be what we need, though. I have plenty of bombs to work with here, um, so I'm going to start using some of them here and there. Obviously, not the best usage there, but here and there to use them for combat is not a bad idea when you have this many. Okay, take care of you. Probably go take care of you first. I miss my devolving enemies. I liked I like devolving enemies. Okay, these guys don't take knockback damage. I didn't know that. I gotta be careful I don't just die here, because uh, my health is not great right now. Oh my goodness, I need to be way more careful. Right, item room, reveal yourself to me and please have an item that is just god tier. Please have a god tier item. We did get a, a, a happy little poopy here. We like that. Got one of these beaters here. One of the only feed folia enemies. It must be something to do with upgrading coins. That's quite lucky. Uh, we got some rotating items here. On bomb each room. Use whatever that is. Spawn five shop items. Let's go for it. Nice. I don't know what that item it said I'm going to use each room is. Could be devastating for us. Could be really cool. I guess we're in it to find out, aren't we? We're in it to see. Oh. I mean, it gave us a ton of stats, so I'm going to imagine it's good for us. It didn't take away health. Okay. I think it might be spice, which might be really bad. I don't know what... It looks like spice in the in the picture, but so far, so good. It's giving us stats. Um, yeah, this all seems pretty good. This all seems pretty good. I hope I don't die very swiftly here. In fact, I might go into my shop and buy that um, buy that soul heart if I can. Because right now, I do not want to lose this potentially pretty interesting run. I'm sorry. One day I'll treat you right. Two soul hearts, baby. Two soul hearts. Because we gain quite a lot of stats. And this'll uh, <laughs> destroy this boss pretty quickly. Nice. Um, yeah, seems interesting. Right, down we go. Down we go. We got a lot of sausag. A lot of sausag going on. Our shot speed is wild. Our stats are just very good right now. We like this. I think if we get hit, we lose our sausages. Fortunately, a rather annoying room here. But not too difficult to deal with. Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't know where they came from. Don't know what they are. Yeah, we've already got some wacky shit in the works here, but our damage... Our damage is pretty goddamn good. And it seems to be constantly increasing. Which I like the idea of. Okay, on picking up a penny we gain whatever those blocks are. 
Oh, dude, that damage is wild right now. The damage is wild. So many sausages. So many sausages. Um... 4% chance to lose three keys. Okay, that's not very good. I'm not going to take that. That's the first one I'm denying. So many sausages, dude. Delete that. We get a reroll machine upon walking into these. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um. Okay, let's let's try and roll deep for something crazy here. Uh, instead of dying, get to the chest. Uh, nah. I'll take that. That seems decent. Well, we'll we'll be cleansing that. Thank you. <laughs> We'll be cleansing that, thank you. Okay. I think we are we are on a, a roller coaster of a run already here. Didn't think I'd be using cleanse on much, but I feel like going up to 91 damage also. We have enough keys to deal with anything we might want to deal with forever. Every every single kill, we have a chance to spawn seven keys. I think that's pretty good. Some herming going on here. Um yeah. God damn, I really gotta make sure I don't accidentally get an effect that does something bad on picking up a key. Otherwise, things are about to get real crazy. I'm hoping I get like a good active item with charged keys. Because I'm imagining charged keys can drop eventually. I mean, we've got a golden key, so I'd imagine so. Seems good for us. That's a lot of keys, baby. Probably want to buy the soul heart as well here. Oh. There's also going to be reflected keys in there on occasion. Yeah, we've got a charge key in one of these other rooms there. There's a charge key there. Yeah, so getting active items working with charge keys could be pretty good. Let's see what this has to give us. That's a telepills. Straight into the boss fight. Um, yeah, that seems really good. Okay, once again, we got some good stuff going on here. Um. Well, this makes us literally invincible, so I think this is a good one to take. <laughs> nah. Man, this is... <laughs> this is wild, people. This is wild. I think I'll be going now. What the hell is my damage at now? It says 13. When I enter a room, it's it's a bit more than 18, though. Yeah, this is kind of a kind of a wild one. Right. Just keep grabbing the charge keys whenever we see him. There'll be quite a few. Um, Pyrus's rags can be kind of good. What does this do, though? I think I'll take that. 211 damage. I wonder why we only have 211 damage while we're in the combat rooms, though. Not quite sure what that's about. Oh my god, the keys, man. The keys. They're going crazy. Just keep moving. Do not lose our sausage. 
Ooh. Nah, that's that does some wacky shit. Wait, what? Where'd my other trinket go? I dropped it and it disappeared. Oh god damn. What what happened? What's just happened to my fire rate? Okay, nice, there you go. Once we're in a room, it's fine. Maybe I can do this when I've got a... Uh, when I've got this trinket. I don't know where the other trinket went. It just kind of disappeared. <laughs> oh my god, look at the minimap with all the fucking keys. Also, when did this get here? Delete that. Right. Oh my god. Yeah, this is pretty wacky. Oh god damn. A lot of spiders. Yeah, like I said, make sure I don't get anything bad on picking up a key, otherwise devastation will occur. Man, our damage is just going to keep going up, isn't it? Tears up. Uh, plus 10 luck. I mean, we have 49 luck, so I think I'll be okay. I'm pretty sure I still have it where I'll lose all these sausages if I get hit, so my status will tank if I take damage at any point. Which I think is kind of funny. I just gotta hope for the best. Hope that doesn't happen. Good, good. We've also got a lot of sin robes in there too now. We got one of you. What what are you got going for us? I will take that. Yes, please. I don't really know where it went. I don't know what that little brimstone ball is either. There's a brimstone ball in all the rooms now. I think I accidentally took a reflected version of that item rather than the actual one. I think that was my mistake. So I, I've taken an item in which I have no idea what it does. So we we could we could just die upon killing the boss here or something. I may have messed up terribly by picking that up. I guess we'll see. Uh, I guess we'll take the Polaroid. What's going on in here? Is there anything absolutely killer in here? Not really. Right. We keep on speeding along. God damn. Oh, we got uh, this this poly item. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. I just lost all of my sausages. So I just lost about a billion damage. But we'll, we'll gain it back quickly enough. Don't worry. We gained one sausage a room, so... This actually makes things slightly easier, if anything. I don't like the in-between rooms having zero speed, though. That's not too fun. Yeah, not having any speed in between rooms isn't ideal. But having this... Good. Didn't realise... I could have such large godhead auras. God damn, it's beautiful. Ow. Um, yeah. Get, getting a lot of items have no negative effects. That's something I'm noticing quite a lot, actually. We got spun. Lovely. We good? You allowed to go? My god, why does that enemy spawn so many keys? That enemy spawns just a billion keys. Right, using my active as much as possible to gain a, a little shield around us. I got hit again. Lost my sausage. Which is sounds like I wouldn't say euphemism, but it sounds like a saying or something. Lost my sausage. 
Oh, I picked up the fucking tick. How dare you, game? Why not point one speed between rooms, game? Why you gotta be like this? Right, where are you, boss? Don't don't play games with me, please. I'm playing this game. You're not playing me as a game. Beautiful. <laughs> God, Godhead is making this trivial. Yeah, look how look how pathetic we are outside of combat. Although I keep having this thing every now and again where I can't shoot. But yeah, outside of combat we are. We are not very good. Like, we have some good items going, but overall, not that impressive. Inside of combat, however, it's where the real fun happens. Where everything gets one shot. A devil deal? How dare you, game. Let's go. See if we can finish this one off in style. I'm sure we very easily can. Okay. We gained our pepper active here as well. I don't know how useful that is. God damn. It's so white. Why is it so white? Was that was that my um was that my white pepper fires that, that caused that to happen? Yes. It is. Okay. I apologize about everyone's eyes. If I'm going to use the white pepper, I have to be prepared to blind people. It's like pepper spray. Right. Blinded by the pepper. Beautiful. Who'd have thought on this run, the only the only two natural items we'd get and take... Don't even know what that did. My bad. The only two natural items we'd get and take would be Sacred Heart and Godhead. Again, can't fire for some reason. There you go. Now I can. That's just funny. <laughs> The keys, man. Ooh, golden bombs as well. Why not? Oh! Th that 9% chance has only triggered twice. I'm really surprised with the amount of rooms I've actually gone through. That's only triggered twice. One, one time it was on a boss fight, though. Granted, one time it was on a boss fight. I thought we'd be getting that way more often. The mi I love the minimap. Just every room has the uh, four key symbol on it. Every single one of them. I think this spawns the keys at my location as well. Oh, look at that. Next room we'll just beat with just the white pepper. Or apparently a, a kill button. Oops. The pepper apparently is not even killing them all. It's just blinding people. Guy didn't even make it get a chance to land. Oh lord. Lots of keys incoming for these guys. Hey, it's another delirium boy. And a lot of keys. Okay, finally got the boss. White fire. Here we go. We actually almost killed him through the phases there. I've never seen that happen before. It's a laser light show going on here. Beautiful stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this another just insane deleted run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.